working. Cool. Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. I decided to do a quick little video today, and it's about the Pathfinder bedroll cooker. I've been wanting one of these things for, boy, boy, just about a year, ever since it came out. But they're really hard to find. As soon as they become available on the website, I mean, within hours, they're, they're gone. But uh, if you're interested in one of these things, keep a real close eye for when it comes up because they don't last long and for good reason. For one, they're hand forged, which where can you find anything hand forged for sale anymore without paying a premium? These things aren't very expensive. They're only $38.95 at the time of the making of this video. Um, they're made of 1018 carbon steel. So you are going to have to oil them or use some fixing wax or something to protect it after you use it otherwise it'll rust up but you know who cares anyway um what else can i tell you about this thing it does come with a cooking rack which is kind of nice the cooking rack will actually this is the one that came with it about six four by six but they have they'll, they'll fit any type of rack even even if they're not pack binder it's a really cool little design. I'll give you a close-up on that in just a minute. Um, the post is 18 inches long. The grill arm, this arm right here for your for cooking steaks or hamburg or fish or whatever, that thing is oh boy, what was it? 15 inches long altogether. And the pot hanger is about about the same. Um, I love how this thing works. It moves really freely. Super easy to move it on and off the fire. Um, the one thing I don't really care for with this, hold on a minute. I gotta put my beer down. I'll spill it. I'll spill it. Tell me if that spills. So the only thing I don't like about this thing, I gotta be, I gotta throw in a negative. It is a review is that I wish that this stand was came with a, another piece to it. It's really, really small. You know, I mean, and I get that you're going to be cooking over coals, so you don't have to be way up in the air. But even with the kettle, I mean, it's at its max right now, and it's just barely clearing the coals. And if you're in soft ground, pine forest, you know, even if you have a little bit of snow or semi-frozen ground, you really got to drive that stake so far down in the ground that you haven't got a lot to work with. So I do wish they would come out with a, another piece that I could add on to this for some extra height just to get down into the softer ground. Um, that's the only negative thing I have to say about this. It is an awesome piece of kit. Rolls up really small. It's only a pound and change. I think it's. A, I think the website says a pound one ounce, two ounce. I'm sure each one is a little bit different because they are hand forged. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have a beer, enjoy this little bit of snow, and uh, fry up a hamburger. I'll give you a closer look on how this thing works. So here it is. Here's the grate. You can see how it clips on. Maybe, maybe. It's pretty easy. All you do is you reach underneath. These things, these little hooks come around from up top and fold under. So you slide the rack onto it and then tip the top over and it's got this little clasp that slides pretty freely, slides over the top of the grate. So like I said, it'll hold any size grate. I mean, that's the little one. There's a bigger one. You know, so if you're cooking for two, it'll easily cook for two. They even have a smaller grate that you can use. Um, like I said before, the pot arm, I mean, I'm right at the very legal limit of this thing. I wish it was a little bit taller. So this arm does work really well for the kettle. Actually, almost perfectly for the kettle. But what it doesn't work real good for is the Pathfinder nesting cup. I mean, it's just it's just not going to work, you know, it's way too long. So just keep that in mind if you want to use this 
bedroll system. You're probably not going to be able to use it with the Pathfinder cup. But you will be able to use it with the kettle for sure. And you know what? If you have to heat water up in here anyway, just set it by the fire. That's what it's made for anyway, right? So it's my only complaint. But other than that, I really like this thing. So, yeah, let's get some burgers on. The other thing you, you will notice when you get this thing with these arms are canted up a little bit. They did that on purpose. The reason for that is they think, or they assume that when you do use this, you're going to have a lot of weight on this thing. And once you weight it, it'll actually help keep it straight. So don't be alarmed if when you get this thing, it's these arms are canted up a little bit. But I mean, I love how easy it moves. Just awesome. Now we wait. What do we have here today? Wee Bird Coal Style Ale. 5%. Not bad. From Benton Hill Brewery in Braintree, Vermont. It's pretty good. It's very light. Mm. Very light. I like it. Smooth. Good refreshing beer for the summer months. I'm a bit more of a stout kind of person, but stouts can be kind of heavy in the summer. But enough about beer. I want to thank all of you guys, all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. I love all the comments. Thank you for responding. I love the commentary back and forth with some of you. I, I greatly enjoy it. I look forward to hearing from you. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to I just wanted to thank all of you. I, I'm really fortunate to have such good subscribers, such awesome folks. I'd love to meet every single one of you. Um, so that said, I am creeping up on 500 subscribers. It's taking me, taking me a long time to get there, but I am getting there. And as a thank you, I want to do another giveaway. So watch that subscriber button channel thing. As soon as I hit 500, I'm going to be doing another giveaway. So I would appreciate if uh, my friends out there could help me get there. You know, uh, like, share, subscribe. I know they all say that, but actually do it. <laughs> can you can you share and maybe get the word out about my little channel? Honest, obviously only if you like it, if you like this kind of thing. But uh, it sure would mean a lot to me. So I think it's time for me to flip this thing. As you can see, I I cheated today. I I brought Kingsford coal. I'm in a wood lot just above my house on my own property. So I figured rather than spend an hour processing wood, I would just grab some, some charcoal from the house. So yeah, then I flip this thing and get eaten. Nothing like burgers cooked by an open flame. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Well guys, thanks for joining me on this quick little video and having lunch with me today. I did forget to mention one other thing I do like about this bedroll cooker. Not only can we use it for cooking our food, but hot tenting or in your tent or just hanging out by the fire it acts as a pretty neat little table too you know so you can hold your beer or hold other things while you're sitting around the fire and just having a good time with friends so a lot of multiple uses it is a little bit heavy but you know if you're wild camping by a fire you're out just for the afternoon to go fishing want to fry up some fish 
or you have some sort of conveyance like a fat bike or a canoe, ATV, four-wheeler. I think it's a great little, great little piece of kit. I mean, to me, a pound, it's not all that objectionable to carry it on your back anyway, so. Thanks again, guys, for coming along. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and as I said, please like, share, and subscribe, and help grow my little channel. So, cheers, guys. Have a good one.